not wanted to kill them. All of this insanity of extermination and death camps delayed the rocket program and delayed production of the German SAM missile program. That would have turned the tide of war. Now, I'm not here to talk about World War II. I'm talking about World War III, the one that we've been engaged in, even before 9-11. This war goes back a thousand years. But never before have the invaders had, how shall I put it, a welcoming committee in the countries that they're invading. A welcoming committee. Take a look at what's going on in Germany. You have to ask yourself, is the leader of Germany, this pudgy East German woman, almost out of a, uh, uh, I'm trying to remember the author, author I can't remember, uh, his not, main name isn't coming up, almost a caricature of, um, well, I just forget what she looks like. Do you know what's going on in Germany? Being invaded by the leader of Germany? Do you know what's going on? I'll read you a female physician from Munich, Germany, who sent the message to the world. And you're not going to believe it unless you understand what is going on and what will go on here. Yesterday, she said at the hospital, we had a meeting about how the situation here and at the other Munich hospitals is unsustainable. <laughs> Clinics cannot handle emergencies, so they're starting to send everything to the hospitals. Many Muslims are refusing treatment by female staff, and we women are refusing to go along with these animals, especially from Africa. Relations between the staff and migrants are going from bad to worse. Since last weekend, migrants going to the hospitals are being accompanied by police with canine units. That's what's going on in Germany. And it's coming to a hospital and a school near you unless you hear my message today. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. The Savage Nation is sponsored by Swiss America, the only company I trust with my financial future. Call 800-289-2646 or SwissAmerica.com. So, um, while Hitler invaded other countries, Merkel and Obama... I should say Cameron are invading their own countries with foreigners. Period. That's what I uh, take a look at what I just said. Who's invading this country? Could they get here? Was it not for the leader of this country who was bringing them in? Many migrants, I'm being told, have AIDS, syphilis, open TB, and many exotic diseases that the nurse says we in Europe do not know how to treat. If they receive a prescription in the pharmacy and they learn they have to pay cash, this leads to unbelievable outbursts, especially when it is about medication for their children. So they ditch their children with pharmacy staff and they say, so cure them yourselves. And so the police are not just guarding the clinics and hospitals, but also large pharmacies in Germany because of the traitor Merkel. And then she says, where are all those who had welcomed them in front of TV cameras with signs at train stations? Do you know about the liberals in Germany who stood there with signs waving them in? Did you know most of them worked for government organizations or were getting salaries to do so? Until now, the number of unemployed in Germany was 2.2 million. Now it will be at least 3.5 million. Most of these immigrants are completely unemployable. A bare minimum of them have any education. The women do not work at all. She estimates that one in ten is pregnant. Hundreds of thousands of them have brought along infants and kids under six, emaciated and neglected. Germany has been invaded. Merkel is the general of the invasion. Obama has invaded America. First it was with people south of the border, and now he wants to bring in at least 100,000 Syrian Muslims, most of whom are of military age, and they're men. Government zero. No borders, no language, no culture. Go to a bookstore tomorrow and see what happens when you look for the book and report back to me. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. Warning, the Savage Nation contains adult language, adult content, psychological nudity. Listener discretion is advised. And now, America's most exciting radio talk show, The Savage Nation, home of unprotected talk, borders, language, culture, and here he is, Michael Savage. American flag waving proudly in the breeze. Do you see millions of men marching? Do you feel your heart pounding with desire to take your country back? You're not alone. 
believe me, you're not alone. We're not outnumbered. We've been outsmarted. Oh, we've lost the battle, but we haven't lost the war. As I taught you in the last hour, Germany would have won the war had it not been for sabotage performed by slave laborers in their defense plants. Their war plants, really. But the slave laborers didn't give up, even though they were slaves. And you've given up? Well, you, pr you really have given up. What you've done is you say, ah, who cares? What am I going to do about it? It's all hot air. I can't do anything. That means you've given up. It means you're weaker than a slave. You've given up. You're not fighting Obama. You're not fighting the DNC. You're not fighting the Islamist, the Islamist front groups. You've given up. I haven't given up. We've lost the battle, not the war. The first article on this was published four days ago on World Net Daily. You can find it on the top of the Drudge Report. I'm sure it's being hit a thousand times an hour. I don't know how, how often people are reading this now. But I'm glad it went on to Drudge, and I want to thank Matt Drudge for this. Because the fact of the matter is I am the only member of the American media who is blacklisted. I am officially announcing that I am blacklisted. And you can thank those who own Fox News for having blacklisted me. They'll get along fine without me. And I'll get along fine without you, without them, because I have you. You understand that? They don't have you. They don't have you as a demographic. They don't care about illegal immigration. Or shall I say, they're in favor of illegal immigration. I happen to know for a fact that the official party line inside Fox News is to never talk about illegal immigration. And number two, make sure that Hillary becomes the president. You may not know any of this. Shadows. Shadows on the wall. But the fact is, is that I have a different vision. I see what's going on. I see the invasion. I see what's going on in Germany. I see what Merkel has done to Germany. I see she's a traitor who should be tried for war crimes for what she's done to Germany. I read from a nurse's letter to a friend of mine. In a hospital near the Rhine, migrants, i.e., Syrian Muslims, African Muslims, attacked the staff with knives after they had handed over an eight-month-old on the brink of death, which they had dragged across half of Europe for three months. The child died two days later, despite having received top care at one of the best pediatric clinics in Germany. The physician had to undergo surgery, and two nurses are laid up in the ICU. Nobody has been punished. The local press is forbidden to write about this, but we know about it through email. This is all hidden information. What I am reading to you may as well have come through the underground press in World War II of what is going on. And then she asked, what would have happened to a German if he had stabbed a doctor and nurses with a knife? Or if he had flung his own syphilis-infected urine into a nurse's face and so threatened her with infection? At a, min a minimum, a German would have gone to jail and later to court. With these people, nothing has happened. And so she says, I ask, why, where are all those greeters and receivers from the train stations? Sitting prettily at home, enjoying their non-profits, and looking forward to more trains and their next batch of cash from acting like greeters at the stations? If it were up to me, the nurse writes, I would round, up the, uh, round up all these greeters and bring them here, first to our hospital's emergency ward as attendants, then into one building with the migrants so they can look after them there themselves without armed police, without police dogs, who today are in every hospital here in Bavaria and without medical help. Is this situation coming to America, says a female physician in Munich, Germany, via a message to the world being read for you for the first time in the American media on the Savage Nation. And so I write for World Net Daily, they write the article rather last Tuesday, and it says, a major battle in a war over the future of Western civilization has been lost, battle lost, as millions of migrants from the Middle East who largely oppose Judeo-Christian values and have no intention of assimilating flood the United States, Britain, France, Germany, and other nations. Talk radio host Michael Savage told his listeners last Tuesday. Savage said he received an email from somebody described as far smarter than I am and far seeing. He said to me, it's over. Paraphrasing the email, Savage said that what German Chancellor Herr Heil Herr Angela Merkel is doing to Germany, what the weakling is doing to England, what the socialist is doing to France, what Obama the psycho is doing to America will render this country non-existent in less than 50 years. And I said to him, maybe you're right, maybe you're wrong. But the fact of the matter is the world is changing in ways you could never have imagined. Savage later affirmed to a caller that he hasn't given up, 
noting that he presents in his upcoming book, Government Zero, No Borders, No Language, No Culture, 40 Actions to Save America. Savage added, we haven't lost the war. The war has just begun because 30 million to 40 million Americans have finally awakened to what the psychopath has done to this country. And they want to stop him from doing more. They want to stop the madman before it's too late. Uh, I, I'll, you can read the article yourself. Go to Drudge. Go to match. I'm sorry. Go to <laughs> go to Drudge dot com. www.drudge.com. dot com. I'm getting so ahead of myself. You know, my father used to have to slow me down. But I get so excited as a little boy. I remember my poor dad would say, now, Michael, he said, put one foot in front of the other, do one thing at a time. I guess today I'd have ADD or ADHD. They would have put me on drugs and I'd be a dentist. Probably would have been dead 15 years by now from, from, uh, from, from boredom. Nothing against dentistry. I'm just saying, just saying. I was always like going 10 places at once. Well, right now I'm going in one place. And that's directly to you through this microphone which has been granted to me by God himself. One day I'll tell the story. I've hinted at it a hundred times. Every time I thought I was finished, some hand would come along and put me back in front of the public. Almost miraculous, isn't it? In this world, for a man like me to survive this long in the media, think about what I just said to you. When you consider what a firebrand I really am, when you consider how strongly I present my case and my words and my positions and my beliefs, how genuinely, how directly to you every day for 21 years, don't you think it's kind of a miracle that this is allowed to even be broadcast? Don't you think it's quite a phenomenon? And don't you think that there are some forces that I should say, otherworldly or supernatural that has permitted this to happen yeah well there's a reason for it because in every generation there are a few people who come along who change things look at what obama has done to this country he is one of the most dangerous people has ever come along in american history and look at what he's gotten away with and there's been almost not, not almost a peep not zero like a not, not not a peep he neutralized the republican party he has the media in his in his back pocket jake Jake, I have a word for him. It rhymes with Tapper, but I can't use it. It's a family show. I say he's the worst of them. I say he's the, he's amongst the worst of them, but he's not the issue. He's just one of them. They're all part and parcel of the same game. So he owns the media. There is no Republican opposition party. And then you have the talk radio sphere, the blogosphere, and people are focused on the wrong issues. Instead of talking about gays, gay rights, Caitlyn Jenner, I mean, with gays, abortion, women's rights, you've missed the whole point. You've fallen right into their trap. You should be talking only about borders, language, and culture. That's it. That's my message for 21 years. And now, by the way, my day has come. You know, they used to say every dog has his day. Well, this is my day. Every dog has his day. For years, I've been preaching the same message, sometimes crying uh, in the wilderness, Shouting in the wilderness, walking alone. If you think that I've enjoyed these 21 years, you're kind of mistaken. I become an outcast. I become ostracized because of my positions, my beliefs. I don't think you understand the price that's paid for this. You say, oh, well, you're not in prison, though. And you're still functioning and you're making a good living. Yes. But if you think that's all a man desires in life or wants in life, you're mistaken. But I'm not here to complain. I'm here to to tell you that there's something that must be done and that's you and over the next week I may just do a filibuster I'm thinking about how to do this starting tomorrow when the book is in the stores I may just filibuster the airwaves I may read from page one to page 300 and all the references until I'm finished I may do like a late night session in uh, Congress I may go from the beginning of the show three hours later five ten days in a row until i finish reading every word of the book for those of you who cannot afford it for those of you who are in prison can't get it for those of you who don't want to buy it or can't buy it i may just read it on the air it might be more interesting than reading news stories but i have so much more to cover i invite you to join the conversation again i i ask you to please read the world net daily article on the top of the drudge report and don't forget to click on the next one this has been a double banner day for me i never expected this it was a shock, by the way, to wake up this morning, given that I'm such an outcast and such a loner. When I saw that Matt Drudge had linked the cover of my book, yeah, it's still there, Government Zero, No Borders, No Language, No Culture. And the article, Michael Savage declares we've